There's his mom, Sanzi, and that, that was today. She threw out the first pitch today, you know. So it's emotional for everybody. I know it's emotional for Trey Mancini. And, of course, Adam Jones had a big relationship with him as well, as did, you know, Raven quarterback Lamar Jackson. And so he touched so many lives. In the air to right. Low will drift back. Low doesn't see it. Low lost the ball. Here comes Hayes. Trey's going to go to third. Trey's going to be where home. Here comes Mancini. He is safe. 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 A fairy tale has come to life. Well, I can tell you this. If it's his last home at bat, it will be one he will never, ever forget. And neither will the fans here in Baltimore. You could tell Josh Lowe from the beginning, he was not seeing the ball out in right field. Almost looked like a routine fly ball. But I don't think Josh Lowe ever saw it. How can you write this script? Two strikes, just a cut on the outside part. And you can see Trey knows he missed it. But Lowe out in right field, he can't see it. He said to himself, I can't see it. And I mean, off of his face, just tips the glove off of his left cheek. It kicks towards the right field line. Trey Mancini never checked up. Tony Mancellino, the third base coach, was windmilling him the entire way. We don't know, but it could be the final home game as an Oriole for Trey Mancini. And in case it was, he has left this crowd with the moment they and he will never, ever forget. His first career inside the park home run. A two run shot. Off the face of Josh Lowe. Believe in what you want to folks. There's something magical going on here. I, I can't believe that just happened. Um, you know of anything. Um, you know that's happened throughout my career I think and inside the park home run is. is um, by far the craziest thing and, and probably um, the least probability of, of anything that's happened in my career. So um, for it to happen today and, and on Mo Gabba Day um, of all days, I know he was up there um, smiling and, and laughing at me running around the bases. So, um, you know, can't script it better than that. Yeah, Trey, I mean, it's such an emotional day for you for a lot of different reasons, including Mo Gabba Day. How have you been able just to kind of hold it all together and be a professional and keep doing what you do? Yeah, it can be tough. Um, you know, uh, obviously there's a little bit of uncertainty um, in the coming days, but um, all I know is, is I'm here right now. I love this team, and, and we're playing really good baseball. It has been an incredible turnaround for us, and, and um, I'd like to thank all the fans for all their support this year. And, and um, you know, we love you guys, and, and it's been it's been a really fun year here. So just been trying to focus on on um, every day. And, and I had a really good talk with Hyder a few days ago. Um, you know, especially when I was struggling at the plate, um, really struggling, and, and he called me into the office and, and we had a good talk and he kind of helped snap me out of it so so that was great yeah look that sacrifice fly we were talking about that a couple of days ago you got that sacrifice fly out the right center field and you barreled it up and said look out you know because when you start hitting it that way that's when you get going but when you hit the ball off the bat could you tell that josh Lowe didn't quite see that ball out in right field yeah i could tell and, and playing right field here towards the end of these um you know 12 30 one o'clock games i know that that the sun is really tough for the right fielder so um you know the second that i saw him put his glove up i knew that i needed to, to get going um you know get scooting um and and luckily it took the bounce it did and i was able to get around Trey, what was that moment like between the eighth and ninth innings when you stepped out of the dugout it was incredible. Um, you know, I said a few days ago that I was going to treat treat this week like it was my last week, just in case, um, you know, because the probability is greater than zero. But I have no idea what's going to happen. But I would have been remiss to kind of get caught up and not feeling great at the plate and the struggles rather than um, soaking up every minute here at Camden Yards. I mean, I got drafted by the Orioles um, nine years ago. It's my 10th season in the organization, so it's the only place I know, and, and I love it here. So, um, you know, from the fans from Aberdeen to Delmarva to, to Frederick Bowie, Norfolk, and, and here in Baltimore, um, everybody's been incredible from the second I got drafted, and, and it's home to me, you know, and no matter what, a big part of me is always going to be here. You know, somebody that is, uh, you know, I've, and I hope I continue. So I'm not, I don't want to, you know, put the cart before the horse or anything. I mean, I think who knows what's going to happen, like I said, but I'm enjoy, really enjoyed managing him. Um, he is somebody that, uh, uh, you know, has gone through obviously what he went through. And uh, we've had great on field, off field conversations, and, and he's opened my eyes to a lot of things and, and uh, consider him a close friend. Well, I mean, I think the obvious is, you know, perseverance, toughness. Um, uh, you know, grind, um, put any sort of those adjectives out there. It's, he's 
he's uh, shown that and um, you know, none of us know what he went through exactly you know we've never felt what he did and to go through chemotherapy and um, play baseball a year later in the major leagues that's um, it's unbelievable yeah you know I think everybody in the park was hope, was hoping for a feel good there at the end uh, um, and a very kind of unusual play <laughs> but <laughs> and when we needed it um, I know he's exhausted right now it's a long run so it's pretty cool on um, most day Trey gets one of those unique hits um, lost in the sun or lost somewhere up in the air so uh, special play I think he was actually underneath I, I know guys went looking for him when when they heard him, them chanting his name and so I, I looked in the dugout I didn't see him I think a couple guys went and ran to to go see what he was doing but yeah he ran out there I think he had the gold chain still around his neck and he put it down and said thank you